now we are on the port aft side of deck three. We're going to check out the main dining room and then we're going to head down to the conference center and check that out. So another good thing that on every deck you have these touch screens and you can touch them and find out different things what's going on. You could look at the deck maps. You can go back. You can look at the entertainment that's going on today. So these are very convenient and they're on the on every deck right outside of the elevators so this is the dining room the main dining room on deck three this one is for anytime dining this is where we've been eating um, every day they have the menu here and this is the lunch menu that will be happening today so you'll come through here and one side is if you have reservations over here and the other side is if you don't and Good morning. So this is the main dining room. This is the one that we eat at. We are actually about to eat lunch right now. So we are about to have lunch. It is actually very rocky out here today. And this is the conference center and business services. So you can come down here if you have an event going on and you need to set up rooms. Those rooms are located right down this corridor here. And if you need to do any type of business things, maybe printing out some things, taking care of some stuff. They have four. They have four conference rooms right now. The Serenade, the Brilliance, the Radiance, and the Jewel. So this is where you would come if you were having any type of event and you needed a conference room. So these are the different rooms right here. You have your entrances here. You have your radiance room. You have your brilliance room. The serenade and the jewel. Another thing is everywhere you go, they have the Purell hand sanitizer stations. So that's nice too. Okay, Purell. Now we are headed to deck four. So now we are on the port side forward of deck four and we will be taking a look at some of the different entertainment spots. We will be going through Casino Royale Studio B. We will show you where Azumi is. Um, it's the main dining room here and the Royal Theater also. All right, so this is Jazz on Four. And Jazz on Four is a jazz space on board. ship it's also a spot that they use for various other items also it actually is closed right now but we will definitely try to get in there and see what it looks like you also have blaze on deck four blaze is the night spot on the ship if you want to get out and have a nice night blaze is definitely where you'll go then you have the diamond club here we shall be there shortly all right this is studio b this is where all of the ice shows happen um they also play bingo here so it's like a multi-use spot but studio b is where you can sign up for ice skating also they have about four sessions of cruise so you can come in here um take your family ice skating and come in here and watch the amazing ice skating shows that they put on and on either side of studio b you have the entrances to the casino royale 
This side is the non-smoking entrance and this side is the smoking entrance. Also on deck four, you have a Zumi hibachi and sushi. So it has a hibachi restaurant, a sushi restaurant. So if hibachi and sushi are your thing, make sure you check out Azumi. It is extra, so be aware. All right, so we are going to take the stairs up and head up to deck five on the promenade and see what's going on up here. here in the middle of the promenade yes it is a real starbucks yes you can use your starbucks um card here you can get your points and you can pay with what's on your account hello so you have spotlight karaoke and spotlight karaoke is a karaoke spot on the ship it's actually new it was put in during the amplification to get any of your health and beauty different perfumes at a lower price than playing off the ship so they are actually having a good sale today too they have a couple of things on clearance hello good how are you and most of your main stream products are in here so your Estee Lauder, your Clinique, your Lancome, most of your fragrances are in here so your Gucci, your Dolce & Gabbana, Tom Ford. This is definitely a good place to come and save on some of your items that you normally would use at home. Um, there's a couple of things that I'm coming to get from here from Benefit. Very good eyebrow brand. So I'll be getting a couple of those items. So this is a good store if you want to buy some items to do them free while you're on the ship. And of course, everybody's favorite, the liquor store. A lot of different sales going on, two for 50, four for 100 items. So if you're looking to take some alcohol home, tax and duty free. Today is Black Friday. So there are quite a few people out here shopping at the various kiosks in the middle of the promenade. They have a couple of different sales going on, on watches, various cruise essentials that you can use, socks, wraps, you name it, they got it. Here's another store, it is the Royal Shop. Any and everything Royal Caribbean you can get in here. My daughter loves to get these t-shirts that they have. She has one, she started when we traveled on the adventure. She has one from the adventure and she recently got this one for the Oasis. And we'll be on the Mariner in December, so I'm sure she'll be also purchasing that. But basically, anything that you're looking for in here, any kind of souvenirs, if you collect coffee cups, shot glasses, this is definitely your store. If you are a ship model collector, pretty much anything you're looking for, you can get here in the Royal Shop. So another popular place to go to on the Oasis of the Seas is Valero's. Valero's is the place to go if you're trying to get your salsa dance on, if you're just trying to catch a drink, if you just need somewhere to relax. It's a very nice venue. 
um, nice seats in the evenings. They have a band here. Right now, it's the middle of the day on Friday. So it's not a lot going on in here, but they actually have drinks that are specific to Boleros. But this is like your Cuban style lounge here. And in the evening, it is definitely always on and popping. Nice bar. Definitely gives you that Cuban feel. Another thing that is unique to Royal Caribbean are the interior promenade rooms. These are the rooms that you get if you really want to have a window, but maybe you don't need an ocean view. And these look out and you can see the hustle and bustle of the promenade. They have them on both sides, lined all the way down the entire promenade. And the one thing that I absolutely love about the promenade is that it gets all of this natural light. It goes all the way up. You can see the water slides. Central Park is right on top of us. And it just gives a lot of natural daylight down here, which makes the space so inviting. So as we keep walking down the promenade, we have a couple of Royal Caribbean staples. All of the ships have some type of pub. And this is the Globe and Atlas. Um, the one thing I love is that you can sit outside and feel like you're just watching. You know, if you're, if you're into people watching, this is the perfect place to sit. The Globe and Atlas is just like any normal pub. And sometimes they have live music here. So you can come in, take a seat, have a drink. Um, they'll have a live musician here at times. It has that old school pub feel. And they actually have drinks that are specific to them also. Just like most of the bars on Royal Caribbean. So this is definitely a great place to be. And it definitely has a great night atmosphere if you're just looking to find a relaxing place to sit. And right across from the Globe and Atlas, we have Sorrento's. And right in front of Sorrento's, there are two Coke freestyle machines. And this is a standalone Sorrento here on the Oasis of the Seas. So you walk in. Every day they'll have what types of pizza they'll have on board for today. And you just walk up. Tell them what you want. Hello, jeez. <laughs> and they have an antipasto station also. And there's plenty of seats here at the Sorrento on the Oasis of the Seas. You can sit right here, right off of the side of the restaurant. Um, there's plenty of seats out in the promenade right here. And you actually have even more seating over here for you to sit and enjoy. That's a nice slice of pizza. So as we're continuing to walk in the promenade, we have Island Market here, which is a nice little shop to pick up a couple of different island styles, different um, artifacts for your house, different decor for your home, flip-flops, jewelry pieces. Definitely a nice store to check out. And then across from Island Market, you have the collection. So if you're into handbags, as I am into handbags, this is definitely your place to go. They have a couple of vintage styles from Chanel, Louis Vuitton, a couple of Tiffany pieces. And then when you walk in, they have a couple of Fendi bags and just a couple of various different bags of different designers. So, like today, I said it's Black Friday, so they have a sale going on. On some of the Kate Spade bags and various other items. So they carry Coach, Michael Kors, Kate Spade. I see a couple of Fendi bags in here, Louis Vuitton. So if you are into bags, Gucci, if you're into bags, this is definitely your place to be. Then across from the collection, you have Cafe Promenade Cafe. Cafe Promenade Cafe is one of the complimentary spaces to eat 
on board Oasis of the Seas. They have various pastries, various sandwiches, different types of salads. And they have a coffee bar here. So if you have the unlimited drink package, then this is definitely a place where you can come. If you're, you know, don't want to spend the money on Starbucks, you can definitely come here with your unlimited drink package. Or if you want to purchase a la carte, you can come here and grab your morning coffee, espresso, latte, cappuccinos, mochas. They also have um, spirits, so you can come here and get a drink. They have power aids, canned beers, canned sodas, juices. Then they have a complimentary station here of the coffees, teas, hot chocolates, iced water. So you definitely can feel free to come here, enjoy a nice coffee, enjoy a nice drink, enjoy a nice sandwich, and have the best time ever. So this is guest services. So if you have any questions, you need anything answered, you need to have an issue with your account on board. Um, you need to make a change of card on your account. You have a problem with your key. This is where you're going to come. Guest services is definitely, if you have any problems that can wait after the first day, definitely take that first day and enjoy your cruise and come here the second day. And definitely try to get here before the last day or the last morning of your cruise because the lines can get very long. We have another shop here. Regalia watches. So if watches is your thing, definitely come take a look here. They have a variety of different types of watches. You have the Boom Internet Desk. So if you're having trouble with your Boom Internet, then this is definitely where you will go to get that handled. You have the Port and Shopping Desk. They can answer all of your port questions and port shopping questions and tell you where you can get some of the best deals at. Then we have the Bionic Bar here. And at the Bionic Bar, you can come and these two robots will actually make your drink for you. So you will come over here. And I'm going to actually show you what to do. You'll find an iPad right here. And then we take our card and we tap it right there. And then we type our birth date here. All right. Okay, so you have a couple of options. You can create a new drink. You can go to My Drinks, Bionic Signature, or Bionic Classic. So I think what we're gonna do is create a new drink. So right now it's telling us our glass is empty. So what we're gonna do is hit this plus sign here, and then we're gonna start with spirits. So it gives you all the options of the various spirits you can add and you can scroll up until you find what you're looking for. So what I'm gonna add right now is I think I'm gonna go with, uh, we'll go with Malibu. That's one of my favorites. Then we're gonna add, actually, we're gonna add two shots of Malibu to this. So we'll go back. We'll add another shot of Malibu. So we're gonna do more. Oh, actually, that's three. Okay, so we're gonna do two parts of Malibu. Then we're gonna go with mixers. And it gives you all of your various mixers here. So I'm gonna do a uh, cranberry, and then I'm gonna do um, a pineapple. So now, I'm gonna go with Shaken. Actually, nope, we're going to go back. We're going to add ice. Now we're going to go with shake. Now we're going to click this add to cart. And it's going to say Carol's drink. We're going to hit OK. And we actually have the drink package, so we will see zero right here. We're going to go to checkout. And now, our drink is being made. So, we'll go up here and track our drink. So right now, the robot is making our drink. Just place our cup down. And you can see over here, a little 
little bit where it's tracking the process progress of our drink. So it's tracking the progress of our drink right now. And is ready we are going to put our card here and here comes our drink and it is that easy we got our drink yes Malibu and pineapple I don't see my cranberry, but it's supposed to be cranberry in here. All right, so we are headed to the boardwalk. So this is actually one of our favorite places to be. We'll actually be here later today watching the Alabama game at 2.30. The Iron Bowl is playing today. If you're looking for hot dogs, there actually is a complimentary place here actually too. One that serves um, lunch and serves breakfast. And the Boardwalk Doghouse is a great place to go. It's a full-size carousel on the Boardwalk. You can actually see the people zip lining from the Boardwalk. We have Sugar Beach, so if you're trying to get your sugar fix on this cruise, Sugar Beach is definitely a great place to go. They have popsicles, ice cream, and lots and lots of candy.
ship was updated. It's a music venue. You can come in here and catch different live bands. Sometimes they do trivia in here. It's a very nice venue. trellis bar. You have various seating options where you can take seats while in Central Park. Nice place to just come take a stroll. This is the open light airspace I mentioned earlier that shines down into the promenade so they can get natural light. You have another one of my favorite complimentary eating places right here, Park Cafe. They serve breakfast and lunch. You have Giovanni's table over here. So I think we're going to take a look in Park Cafe. So you have a library here at Central Park right now. It doesn't have any books, but they did put a library down here. If shopping is your thing, you have a Tiffany and Company. Um, actually, really good prices. If you've ever been to Tiffany's, um, and it's duty free and tax free, so that's always good. A couple other high end stores John Hardy. And then on the opposite side, you have. Yeah. Vintages, which is a wine bar. Very nice space to be. And then that is the end of Central Park. Like I said, it's a definitely a nice place to come, take a stroll, have a cup of coffee, have a glass of wine. This is Vintages. It's a part of Central Park. You can come in here and have nice glass of wine oh yeah they actually have outdoor seating also so definitely a nice place to come and have a bit of wine and then you have the Italian restaurant on the Oasis of the Seas which we absolutely love it's called Giovanni's Table um, traditional Italian food, very good. Um, we'll go over here and take a look at the menu really quick. Definitely really good. We love it here. We've eaten here before. And here is the infamous Chops Grill. We absolutely love Chops Grill. If you are a steak person, this is where you want to come. 
they have a great menu here on the Oasis of the Seas. There is a chops grill on every cruise ship. And like I said, you can dine outside. And even like right now where it's a little bit sprinkly, they actually have a plexiglass that will protect you from the rain. So you can still have a nice outside meal here at Chops Grill. Okay, so this is the card room on board. You can come in here, play cards, sit, have a picture of the view if you want to. It's just a really nice space to kind of come and check out what's going on. You can see people ziplining from here. All kinds of things. And you get a really nice view of the boardwalk from here. Here is an amazing view from deck 14 of Central Park below us. And when we swing around this way, if you are interested in the Royal Escape Room, this is where you will come when it's your turn. We actually missed it. The signups were full on the first day, so we will have to catch this when we go on board the Symphony of the Seas. All right, so we are headed to the sports court right now. And we're gonna see what's going on out there.
here and check out. This is where you can come if you're getting ready to zip line. There's a couple of people already getting ready to do it right now. Let's see if we can catch one coming across. You also have a full size basketball court here. They do a couple of things though, volleyball. Right now they're doing volleyball. You can come here, they have stretching classes in the morning. Last time we were here, my nephew spent all day here at the basketball court playing basketball. And now we have somebody that's getting ready to zip line. Two-story bar. We will go upstairs and look at 
that also in a minute. And some of the drinks that they have here that are very nice. All right, the lime and coconut staff is always on and popping. And my favorite drink here is the lime and coconut. I love it. I've had about 15 of them this whole cruise. Then you have your towel stations here. So what you do is bring your CPAS card. They will give you a couple of towels, however many you need. And then just make sure that you bring those towels back. They will scan your C card because they will charge you $25 a day if you do not bring these towels back. So you want to make sure and check your bill at the end because sometimes they make mistakes and that happened to me. So check your bill at the end. Um, once again, I can't talk anymore about how much I'm loving the new furniture on the board. The OS and the seats. It is very nice and comfortable. So the next spot that we'll take a look at here is the beach pool. The beach injury pool. So you have a couple of lounge chairs here that will allow you to the water will just rise up. You can get your feet wet. It's a nice pool. It's family oriented. There's a couple of hot tubs out here. You have the lime and coconut extension right there. So there is a lime and coconut on both sides. You have one on this side and you have one on that side over there. So now we're going to head into the area where the solarium is and we'll show you one of the whirlpools that hang over the edge of the ship. Only area, so 16 and older. Oh, thank you. There actually is a restaurant here also called the Solarium Bistro. Um, it is complimentary. You just need to have reservations. And you can come and check out their menu pretty much any time of the day. I absolutely love the Solarium because of this right here. Uh, adult area ahead is 16 and older. Now my daughter can join us in here, so I like to spend a lot of time in this area. They have these amazing beach loungers. Here, it actually is a two-story solarium. We headed up there in a minute just to check that out. But you have two hot tubs here, one on each side. Multiple places for you to lounge and sit different options. You have a couple of sectionals. You have a pool here. This is just a nice place. It actually is an outside place if sunbathing is your thing. We're going to take a little walk around here. One of my favorite spots of the solarium though is actually upstairs. Also is a bar up on this level. 
but trust me, you will never be without a drink because we're walking around the way Sam is walking around. And make sure that when you come on board, that you tip this great staff very generously because they have been the best. They work hard and they're making sure that our vacation is good. Superb. So if you're looking just to have a nice relaxing day, like I'm about to have in a minute, make sure that you come up. Solarium from the top floor here, which is what we're going to do now. 